Hey, what's up guys? It's Jonathan with Rev Free Moto. Behind me, this is my 2024 Toyota Tundra Limited Crew Max 4x4. And I have not had this truck for very long. Actually, I wasn't even planning on getting this truck. And it's a very interesting story how I wound up with this amazing truck that I really love so much. So let me tell you a little bit about the story and why I unloaded our previous vehicle so quickly and got into this this truck. Let's talk about it. All right, so as of the filming, this is July the 4th, 2024. And I bought this truck just a couple of weeks ago, really, just before our family went on our annual vacation to the beach. And this truck, is a, it's a 2024 Tundra Limited Crew Max. Um, really haven't done a whole lot to it yet. Uh, do plan on on uh, some more modifications at some point, but uh, put on this rough country tunnel cover and uh, really liking that. Uh, also put on the AVS Aero Skin bug guard on the front, and I really love the way that looks. It's very certainly very very uh, aerodynamic. Uh, this truck's got a few extra packages on it and things like that, but it's just a, it's an interesting color. Trust me, I never wanted a brown truck, but I, I really, uh, starting to, to grow on me. So when, uh, I went shopping for this truck, uh, our family car was a, uh, 2022 Ford Expedition. And it was, uh, I got it um, for a really great price, or at least I thought I did. Best thing about it was I had it, uh, had 0% interest on the Expedition for the entire 60-month loan. And so the Expedition was, was a good car. You know, it was the nicest car our family has ever had. Um, and, you know, it's 4 by 4 and and all that stuff. And, you know, we really had no complaints about it. The sh transmission, the 10 speed transmission, this is another thing I did. Um, got these uh, little inserts uh, that you can get on Amazon for under $30. I did a video about those. Um, but I'm, I'm liking the looks of these. I think they're pretty cool. They're in the like cup holders and, and everything too. So all the places that you can stick stuff in this truck. Um, but yeah, the Expedition, you know, we really didn't uh, have any complaints about it. Um, actually, uh, couldn't really, with our 14-year-old riding in the back, uh, she was all the way in the back and really close to the tailgate. And if we went on vacation, it was kind of a bummer because we get, you know, the Expedition, you think, is a, a pretty big vehicle. And um, we had to fold the rear uh, seat down to put all our stuff because none of it would fit behind the rear seat with it with it up um these expeditions even with the max you really don't get that much cargo space with the third seat up and so you know if you have uh three kids uh and captain's chairs in the second row it wasn't um the best uh when we had to go on trips we actually would have to get one of those little uh things that you put uh, in the tow hitch uh, like a little basket and we'd have to put that um, on the tow hitch so that we could fit all of our luggage so we'd strap luggage to that that uh, buggy and or that basket and then we could actually fix fit everything um, so this has been this has been great but th but the question is why would I get rid of the this expedition you know when I really had no plans to to get a truck um, and uh and especially with the, the fact that we had 0% APR on the Expedition. Um, so it's almost like free money to pay it off. Uh, so the Expedition, I thought, was pretty safe until recently. We got um, the latest crash test from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. If you hear a bunch of firecrackers going back off in the background, that's because it's 4th of July. Uh, but... 
Uh, yeah, I, I recently saw the latest crash test for the for the 22 through 24 Ford Expeditions, and oh my gosh, the most unsafe large vehicle, large SUV that you can buy. And so, you know, uh, safety is so, so, so important to me. Um, I was a fatal crash reconstruction officer for seven years, and I worked a lot of fatal crashes. I saw a lot of people killed uh, in vehicle crashes. And so it's very important to me to, uh, to be able to have a car that's safe from, for me and for my family. And so uh, as, as soon as I saw the, the new IIHS crash tests that showed how horrible the Ford Expedition performed when previously I thought that it was a pretty safe vehicle. Um, at that point, I, I, it was like this truck that I paid over $60,000 for was uh, completely worthless to me. And that really stinks. I mean, it really sucks. It's, it's like investing in something and you know it's gonna depreciate in value, but suddenly it loses all its value. I might, might as well have just wrecked the thing with no insurance. Like it was, it, it made me very upset. Um, and so traded the expedition as quickly as I could. I unloaded that unsafe vehicle uh, and got, got the safest pickup truck that you can buy uh, because there are no large SUVs that did well. Um, the Toyota Sequoia it probably would do well, but it hasn't been tested yet as of the recording of this video. And plus, that's uh, they're pretty expensive. Even for an SR5, it's like over $70,000 for a Sequoia. Um, so started looking at the Tundras and, uh, as you can see, you know, it's a, I, I think it's a really sharp looking vehicle. I, I just really love it. I think it's, it's an incredibly good looking truck and it's actually, um, when we went on vacation with it, with our family of five, uh, it certainly was an adjustment because with the, um, you know, just the, the interior being a little tighter, all the kids were in the back seat. Um, you can see how we have it set up. We have um, my seven-year-old son is riding in his, his booster here. Um, and then my four-year-old, she's in this seat. And then our 14-year-old is, is riding on that side. And so they're kind of, I mean, they got plenty of room, you know, it, it's great. And there's still room that, uh, you know, as a family, we can put stuff in the um, cab with us, like uh, a bag of books and coloring books and things like that for the, for the kids to do. Um, and also um, uh, a cooler with food and things like that, you know, sandwiches. So it was, it was pretty good um, as far as the interior, but the kids are, you know, they're really close to me. So that, that's an adjustment, you know, it's a lot uh, louder when the kids are arguing and, you know, let's act like we have perfect children, right? But, um, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, but this thing rides like <laughs> this, like truck. I was so pleasantly surprised. You know, I actually was able to, when I made the trade, the, the expedition value had plummeted. I mean, plummeted, like we're talking like 40, low forties, mid forties that it was worth in one year of ownership. So that's another selling point for Toyota over, over a Ford Expedition is, uh, this thing's going to hold its value. I know nothing will hold its resale value quite, you know, like a brand new vehicle. Right. But the Ford Expedition, oh my gosh, it was like, it lost, um, a huge amount of value in one year of ownership. So that was, um, that was pretty eye opening. Um, and so, uh, this vehicle has been wonderful. It rides like it is on a cloud. I mean, it absolutely is. It's it's a better ride than the Expedition. I, I can't believe it. Um, it's a pickup truck, so I didn't think that it would be a smooth ride. But it it has less body roll than the Expedition. It it has um, the suspension is better. It doesn't when you go over a bump, it doesn't feel like it jars your spine like the Expedition. Now we had an XLT. So we didn't have like a, like air ride or magnetic suspension. Some of the upper trims might come with, but this is, this truck, it, it is so plush and it handles so well. And there's so like, there's hardly any body roll. And so I really appreciate the way that it rides. 
Um, and with this tonneau cover, like this is the first thing I put on uh, before we went to the beach with this truck. And like, um, it's kind of makes the tailgate stick a little bit sometimes, but it, uh, we have all this room in the bed, you know, now uh, that we can put our stuff in and, you know, we can put all our suitcases in and uh, beach toys and uh, pillows and kids stuffed animals. And before I'd have to really, um, there's some fireworks or firecrackers again. But before I'd have to really sweat about like how I was going to pack the car because uh, I couldn't fit everything in the expedition and I had to put some of the stuff in that thing, that little basket on the tow hitch. So that was kind of stressful um, because uh, then you had to, you know, fold that rear seat down and put all pile all your stuff next to my my daughter, you know, my 14 year old. And so like it's almost unsafe, all this stuff piled up next to her. Um, in case you had to make a, a swerve or something like that. So all the stuff is, is safe in the truck, uh, protected under this tonneau cover, uh, pretty much fairly waterproof, uh, you know, and maybe put some of the stuff that's more vulnerable to the to water in the middle. But, you know, s some water can come through. But, but for the most part, it's like having a huge trunk. And so I'm so thankful for that. Um, another thing that really surprised me about this truck is the transmission. So the Expeditions uh, and the Ford F-150s have this 10-speed transmission that is, it is famous for um, all sorts of problems. And I thought that, you know, like it's all I knew, a 10-speed transmission that kind of clunks when you put it into drive, that was the Expedition. And it would have, for the most part, it would it would uh, shift okay, but you know, every now and then it was hunting for gears and just seemed like uh, it, it was never happy. And so, with this truck, it the the transmission is so like it's smooth like butter. Like I'm telling you, I have never uh, I, half the time I don't even know it's shifting, and you just kind of forget about it. Like in the Ford Expedition all you could think about was it was shifting gears all the time. This thing is so smooth, I, don't, I never noticed it shift. And so I think that um, the quality difference between the Toyota um, drivetrain and the Ford is, is huge. Um, so those are just a couple of things that, you know, just going from one vehicle to the other, uh, as somebody that, um, you know, has a family and, you know, has to take vacations and, and, and trips with the family in a vehicle like this. Um, you know, this, this truck uh, has been wonderful so far. And, you know, if it weren't for the, the horrid crash tests uh, of the Ford Expedition, I don't think I ever would have even thought about uh, moving into a pickup truck. And so, you know, that's, that's really the reason that I ended up with this truck. Uh, it's got like the panoramic sunroof. I've got the shade up right now, but um, it's just got like this big screen. I mean, it, it it's more the whole back window rolls down. Like there's nothing about this truck that I don't love, and so I've just really been happy with it. Um, really pleasantly surprised by the quality of the Tundra, and of course, like right after I bought it, like all these recalls came out for the Tundra on the 22s and 23s. And uh, so, you know, for a little bit, I was like, oh my gosh, of course, what did I do? But uh, the 24s so far are safe and, um, you know, these things have a great warranty on them. And I know that uh, if, if the engines on these trucks get recall, uh, recalled as well, I know Toyota will stand behind their, uh, their product and their drivetrain. So I'm not really that worried about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a much safer vehicle and much more practical, honestly. Um, the only downside is that you know we lost two seats and so the expedition was a seven seater because we had the second row captain's chairs uh, so now this only can fit five people i mean it would be cool if we if you could put somebody here um you know make that an option but um not with this particular trim right or i don't even know that you can get a six seater tundra maybe you can um but yeah it's 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 been pretty good uh regardless um, and, you know, 
sometimes my my wife's parents we would take them with us on, on shorter trips and and things like that um, and so that's no longer an option so that's uh, you know they came down to the beach with us uh, they they came down later and um, you know they couldn't have ridden with us um, if they wanted to just because uh, unless they wanted to ride in the back right which we wouldn't do that to them um, but uh, yeah, overall, I'm very, very uh, glad that I did buy this truck and very happy with it so far. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, please uh, uh, subscribe and, and like this video. Um, I think that I'll be doing some more videos uh, with the Tundra, uh, just showing some of the, you know, some mods here and there and whatever I'll do with it. But, um, you know, obviously there'll be more ride videos coming with the Harley and things like that too. So, um, and modifications to the Harley Davidson. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and God bless. Love you all. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys. If you have any comments about the Tundra, uh, if you have one, uh, or if you've had an expedition or you have an expedition now, I'd love to know your thoughts. Uh, did you know, uh, how bad the Ford expedition, uh, performed on these crash tests? It's uh, the Insurance for Institute, Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's website has all the crash tests. And there's lots of YouTube videos out there with the crash tests. It's the small overlap uh, frontal crash test that's particularly concerning for the Expedition. And that's uh, probably a pretty common crash that, that you're going to have in that vehicle, especially with all the distracted drivers out here today. So just my thoughts on that. But... Um, tell me your thoughts on the Expedition, on the Tundra. You know, I'd love to hear if you drive one currently um, or if you've driven one in the past. I'm just blown away by the quality uh, difference between Ford and Toyota. Um, I'm not a Toyota fanboy. I'm not a Ford fanboy. Um, you know, I think if it's a good vehicle, <clears throat> you know, that's what I'm going to drive. If it's safe and it's reliable and holds its value is important too. Plus, these trucks are made in America, which is awesome. The expedition is too, but um, I think that's really uh, a cool thing too. So, all right, I'll stop yakking. God bless, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.